Yeah, so... I guess another thing I'd like to talk about, that actually the Mississippi election is over, which now officially ends the uh, 2018 uh, midterms. Uh, however, actually I found out that the, uh, there's, a, there's a Secretary of State election in Georgia on December 4th. Apparently there's like a runoff for that. And the funny thing is how I know about it, because I received an ad on YouTube, and I, I found it strange because I live in Florida, so... I don't know why they would give me an ad there. I know Florida borders Georgia, but that's kind of a waste of money when you're airing ads in a state that I obviously am not going to vote in because I live in Florida. Notice of new seminar topic, galloping toward an era of risk-free potions. Participation is not voluntary. Oh, okay. That's kind of weird. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I want to read these notes. Keep the workspace orderly. I have some stuff to do, so I'm not coming into work tomorrow. That's that. <laughs> okay. Oh, come on, come on, come on. When leaving the lab, always do your all-point inspection in the loudest voice possible. Oh, that's kind of weird. Anyway, there's nothing. I don't know the point of this room. I'm not facing this guy, because I already had enough. Actually, dude, these guys are very easy to dodge, so I don't mind facing these guys. Or, if these guys are there, you know? Oh, shit. Huh. Wait. I'm trying to see... Oh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, they have a different color. You have to, like, see it in a different way. It shows up on my TV screen a little bit. Kind of very vague, if you know what I'm saying. I'll get that one once I uh, complete. I'm trying to do. Come on. Oh god. There we go. Got it. It's like in a different, like it's like a different hue, or I don't know how to describe it, but I kind of got it. I don't like that item. Oh. Oh. Okay. Never mind. It actually shows up on this thing. But somehow I got it because it was like in such a different... Huh, that's so weird. I think that's on purpose though. You either see on that thing or you just see it on the ground. But I don't know, it's like I was able to see it. I don't know if you guys could see it on the gameplay, but like I, I can, if you know what I'm saying. Alright, let me go up because I remember there's a locked door on the above floor. Level 1 or sub-level 1. I'm on sub-level 2, so let's go to sub-level 1. Because also, sub-level 1, um, I remember also, let me go get that badge. It's on the other side. Oh shit. I'm gonna run away from this. It's not worth it. Or... You know what, yeah, just to get rid of them, you know? Oh god, uh... Let's, let's actually kill that other guy also. I don't know if that's gonna immediately kill him, but let's find out. Cause he has, a, a, you know, a bolt of lightning and I'm afraid. I don't wanna take five damage, you know? Aw, oh, shit. Oh, okay, good, he didn't use it, that's fine. Thank God. Yeah, so, what was I- I was talking about the, uh, oh yeah, yeah, the, the midterm. So yeah, so the- so that election is over, and I don't know why the mainstream media was actually hyping it up. I know because- because Cindy Hyde-Smith said some controversial- controversial comments, but honestly, like, it's not like- how, how it was with Roy Moore, where there was like, you know, sexual harassment and, and stuff, and obviously that's the one thing that makes, like, you know, anyone, including conservatives, uncomfortable. But this whole thing about the, you know, uh, about the, the like, you know, the racist remarks and the, and the Confederacy stuff, honestly, do you really think that would have worked in Mississippi? Because, like, Mississippi, you know, um, 
like their their state flag on dons the the Confederate flag for God's sake. So I really don't know how that that would have actually affected some voters. You know, I knew obviously it was go it wasn't going to work, but for some reason the mainstream media thought it would. And honestly, I'm glad uh, Mike F. Epstein Epst Epst lost because he's obviously a corporate Democrat, and you know he would have been just like Doug Jones. So I'm glad the guy lost. Honestly, we don't need more of that shit. The Korean will move left for as long as you hold a, hold down A, okay. And then the criminal will move backward for as long as you hold down B. Oh, okay, I, I got it. Uh, back, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get the badge. Use the crane, get the stuff you want, all right. Oh, hope I got it. Yay, I got it. All right, uh, honestly, I require a lot of focus in this part, so I'll just skip some of it, because I'm going to get that other badge and the star piece. Make fire immune to poison or dizziness. Hmm, this will definitely come in handy. All right, there we go. I got what I wanted. So anyway, um, also speaking of, uh, and also about the midterms and stuff, um, apparently this happened, I think, last week. But Bill Nelson finally lost his seat to Rick Scott. Now, of course, I really don't like Rick Scott, but, you know, I'm just, I'm honestly just glad that that piece of shit, you know, corporate and neoliberal warmongering Democrat actually finally lost his seat. The guy was actually senator from, from my state for uh, about uh, 18 years, believe it or not, since 2000. And he, and he was one of the senators that voted for the Iraq war. So honestly, uh, I don't really feel I don't really feel bad for this guy, you know, losing losing my state. So I'm actually glad he he actually I'm actually glad he did because you know after like everything he's done, like being a warmongering Democrat and even endorsing Clinton two times, I'm just glad that son of a bitch lost his seat. So yeah, fuck Bill Nelson. I'm glad he lost. Uh, anyway, so now I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take care of these guys, so I'll just, I'll just do this. Oh fuck, it was almost perfect too. Well, it was about to be wonderful, but that would have definitely killed the other, that, that guy. I mean, I think he'll die now until you Bobbery, so... Give me some star points. Thank you. You didn't die from that, wow. Alright, let's try again. Yes, star points. I know that actually those are star points, but uh, I'm talking about the, you know, what I got to re replenish the thing. Huh? Oh, the code. All right, so I got a picture. All right, let's just type it in. Zero point fourteen zero twenty nine. Oh, there are the, I was finding the numbers. Okay. Access code accepted. Oh, this part. This is actually gonna be really tricky. Honestly, I'm not. I'm not really that, you know, afraid of doing this. I actually have so much FP and, and bombs. So even if I mess up, I could. The the guys, the enemies that you would face if you fail is two of those red X guys. The one that you saw in Sir Grotus's, um room area, not his room, like the one next to it. That one lone guy that was shooting at me. Yeah, those are the guys I face. There's two of them, but they have they have an attack that could definitely. Um, I snapped my fingers, by the way. That would definitely like immobilize you if you get hit. But I just use art attack and also use Bobbery's like blast to take out everyone, and I think then it would be all over. So we'll see. But yeah, I can do this. Who are you, huh? 
You came here to get the elevator key so you can access the computer room? Yeah, I thought so. Well then, you're gonna have to beat me to get it. And if you lose, your life is mine. You hear me? Mine. So what, what do you say? Challenge this chump. Mm, boy, you're mine now. It's another one of this. It's a robotic thwomp. And here we go, folks, the main event, the 66th annual court quiz. Yay! If you get five correct answers to the following questions, then you win, win, win. But if you get just three wrong answers, you're toast. You don't wanna you don't wanna be toast, folks. Well, what are we waiting for, huh? Here we go. Question number one. Exactly what's hidden here? Card key, monkey, elevator key. Pretty lucky. He said elevator key, right? You sure about that? Ah, knew it. Well, actually, I heard him say that. Yar, you're correct, crud. But that was an easy one. You won't do so well on the next one. I guarantee that. Here we go, sucker. Now, question number two. What's the name of the girl in Petalburg who's waiting patiently for Koops' return? Koopy Koo. That's <laughs> such a, like, you know, very sweet, you know, sappy, like, kind of name, you know? And I mean sappy in a really good way. Yar, you're correct, crud. But that was an easy one. You won't do so well on the next one, I guarantee that. Also, Koopy Koo kind of sounds, like, really nice during, and during sex. But not in real life. I mean, in the game in general. The gaming world. But, you know, not, not in real life, definitely. It's kind of... I mean, maybe, I guess. I, I haven't tried it, but I wish. But, you know, I guarantee that. <laughs> Here we go, sucker. Okay, now question three. Goomba, Lava, Bubble, Buzzy, Beetle, and Boo. How many feet do they have in, t in total? Oh, okay. Goomba, that's two. Lava, Bubble, I have no idea. Buzzy, Beetle, and Boo. They have four. Aw, oh, shit. I don't know what a bubble shit is. <laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong. You're dumber than you then dumb. Remember, three strikes and you're out, loser. <laughs> Here's the next one. We're on to question four. It's elementary for non-idiots. Where was the one, the only diamond star? The diamond star is... Oh, yes, the diamond star. It's in uh, Hooktail's belly. Let's feel like a posh to say. Yeah, Hook Hooktail's belly. Haha, I remember that. Yar, you're correct, crud. But that was an easy one. You won't do so well on the next one. I guarantee that. Here we go, sucker. And now question five. What was the name of the very first champion at the Glitzville Arena? Oh, it's Prince Mush. Prince Macho, Marsh, Matthew, Prince Mush. Gwar, you're correct, you jerk. You've already gotten four correct, correct. You're kidding me. Well, fine, I'm gonna toss an extra hard one your way. You happy now, sucker? Now for question six. What did Francisca and Frankie from Roadford lost on Kilo Key? Oh my god, this is so fucking easy. You sure about that? Wow, Gray actually did well on that. No, correct. That's five correct answers. Crud, you win. I don't know why, but the funny thing was when I first played this game, I lost the first time on that first swamp guy, but of course I was able to kill all those rock things that came that he sent me because I had the POW block. And I lost also on this guy the first time, and I had to reset my game because, you know, those guys were like freezing me every single time with the time stop thing. So, yeah, you know, when I first played this game, I lost the first time on this guy. I'm so mad right now, I can hardly see straight. I lose, I lose! Fine, but I really hate you. Take this, you bum. <laughs> that guy's such an ass. You got an elevator key, card key that operates next stop base. Great. Fantastic. I know I have plenty of keys though, funny enough. Let me go the other way. Uh, I don't know, wait, is the other way the, uh, pretty sure it's the crane room. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. I know up top, level one, that's where, should I say? Mm. Nah, I don't need I'm pretty actually good at this game. I never die, you know? 
choose your destination. No, okay, let's go one floor down, and I'm pretty sure the second floor is that's where Grotus's room is and stuff. But I know there's also an elevator that's locked somewhere. Anyway, lucky, lucky for me, I actually killed all these enemies that were in my way. There's the other, all our other elevator. Oh yeah, on to my conversation. So yeah, Bill Nelson lost, and I'm actually glad he lost. I know Rick Scott- Rick Scott's equally as bad as Bill Nelson, but at least with Rick Scott, he puts an ugly face in the- for- as the Senate in Florida, so, you know... At least it opened people's eyes about, you know, just how shitty our- our senators are right now, so yeah. Oh yeah, and of course, another thing is like, you know, a better a war- a, a war- also lost the Senate, uh, the Senate election to Ted Cruz. Now, honestly, I don't really mind him losing. I mean, like, the guy's kind of a pseudo-progressive, but I don't know if I would have voted for him. It's because of the Russia hysteria thing, that's why it made me hesitant on that. But of course, I don't live in Texas, so I don't really know. One thing I like about Ted Cruz, though, the only thing is his, you know, is he's actually concerned about, you know, free speech and stuff, especially on the internet, that kind of thing. Elevating the X-Hot base. So, that's one thing I like about him, like when he stood up for Alex Jones and stuff. So the guy is really a champion for free speech, believe it or not. Maybe maybe not on everything, but on some important stuff. That's the one thing I like about Ted Cruz. And also supporting Bernie Sanders, like, cheap drug bill, that kind of thing. Okay, number three, then next we'll go number four. Let's go to the left. Avoid these guys. There we go. Oh shit, this is tricky. I gotta focus. Hold on. Oh god. Oh, ah! Oh god! It's like a, you know, a trap or something. God damn! Fuck! I was doing so well until that part, okay. I'm gonna skip some of the parts until I get to where I, where I was before. Ah. Yes, did it! Wow, fuck. That was something. Get a card key. That's not base. Yeah. And that's the last of these things, of these kinds of, uh, trials, I would say. HP drain? Nah. Oh, yeah. <sighs> okay. Oh, yeah, I don't want to face these guys. Just gonna run away. There we go. Because are not worth much anyway, so... Oh, fuck! Mmm. Nah. They're, they're just not worth it. They don't have a lot of- Oh, damn it! Well, that, I wouldn't reach that in time, so... Come on, please. Please, 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 please! Oh god, damn, fuck. That was close. Oh god. Oh wait. Oh, I already- Do I already have three card keys with me? I do! And I haven't explored most of the area yet, so I want to go back and and do those things. Because obviously this is a one-time this is a one-time level, believe it or not, so I need to I need to make this count kind of. Oh, that was close. Choose your destination. Number four. 
So yeah, this is the hallway that Peach roams around in. So yeah, also another thing about the midterms, apparently New Jersey just re-elected a, a known criminal back to the Senate. Now, um, I know that there's this thing about how they accuse, uh, like, w w what was his name? Bob Menendez? Yeah, that's his name. Of, like, oh shit, there's, a, there's an enemy here. I'm not gonna face it. Bob Menendez of, like, you know, pedophilia and stuff, but didn't they say that the prostitutes are, like, 16 years old? Because, I mean, but believe it or not, it's not really considered pedophilia. As a matter of fact, it's actually legal in some states, like, the age of consent in... I mean, in most states, actually, the age of consent is 16. It's also legal consent in Canada nationally and in other European countries. So, yeah, that's not really pedophilia. Though I didn't really look it up. I mean, yeah, if it's, like, very, very young, then... Um, okay, yeah, I can understand it, but I'm not really, I haven't really looked into that, but other than that, he has taken some bribes and stuff, and yeah, I'm actually surprised, uh, like, I mean, of course, yeah, I mean, a lot of New Jersey people actually know about this, that's why they, during the primary, a lesser known candidate actually got over 30% of the votes, that's how much he's disliked, but of course they vote for him anyway, because they just don't want a Republican in the, uh, New Jersey, like, f representing New Jersey, because they really despise, you know, Trump more than anything else, that kind of thing. Yeah, so, actually, that's it. This level's not really that long, believe it or not, so that means, like, once I pass through the door that's locked with three keys, um, then that's it. That's, like, the final room, I mean, and then you get, you then approach to the, uh, the boss of this level, basically, so it's not really that long of a level. Uh, oh, oh yeah, no. Really don't like facing these guys because they do the shield thing and it's like really annoying, you know? Alright. There we go. Now we have complete access. This part, this now this part of this level is actually pretty cool. It's kind of like an obstacle kind of thing. Oh shit! Oh shit! How do you how do you activate this? Oh, okay. But we need to take out that guy. Luckily enough, luckily enough, he's actually one of the scientists, so it's easy to get a first strike on him. Oh shit. Oh yeah, um, I need to have some of the... I don't know if, those, if the... because I need, I need full uh, star points and stuff. So, oh god. Oh wait, okay, let me then let me just do some Yeah, so might as well just you do this kind of move, I guess. Alright. Oh, come on, are you shitting me? Fuck, okay, I I have to do this. I hope it works. There we go. Because one of them has a time stopper, and it'd be really bad for me. I don't want to use any of those special moves, that kind of thing. Not star points, yeah, special moves. There's a refill block at the end of this part, but yeah, like I said, I want to save. I want to save it. Huh. Oh yeah, I forgot. I had Bobbery. There we go. Yeah, so what else? So yeah, all in all though, the Republicans basically gained in the Senate 53 to 47. And that's kind of bad news 
for Democrats in 2020 because that means there are still some states that, you know, are still like the Trump supporting states. And I guess the one thing, and uh, I mean, of course, Kirsten Cinema won her race, which is unfortunate, but eh. Honestly, I'm actually glad Mississippi didn't elect a Democrat because that would have been a huge embarrassment because it's like, t like for some strange reason, Texas, Georgia, and even Florida weren't able to get a Democrat in, but yet somehow Mississippi, the so-called racist state, would. That'd be hugely embarrassing. And yeah, about the Florida race, I'm actually at least... You know, another thing I'm glad about Bill Nelson losing is, like, is, as I said before, I'd rather have Bill Nelson lose than, like, you know, because obviously Ron DeSantis went, won the uh, gubernatorial race, but, um, but at least, you know, Bill Nelson, you know, lost his, so, you know, it's like... Oh, wow, I think bouncy. Yeah, but so that at least gives them a little bit of closure, I would say, and also that Beto O'Rourke, it's hard to pronounce his name, I apologize, Beto O'Rourke lost, and even Stacey Abrams also lost her race to someone that I have to admit, he actually brazenly stole the election, you know, Brian Kemp, like, you know, he basically purged enough voters to uh, prevent them from voting, and that was just enough of a margin to actually make himself uh, win the governor's race. Let me actually first check out this because that other part would take you know such a while. So I, I just I'm just curious about this part. So I want to just check it out. I'll get back to that obviously. You know so. Oh okay. Oh wait, but that leads to the um, the final boss. Ah, that's okay. At least I got it. No save block. Oh yeah, and I also need the card key, and I don't have it, so let's go this way now. Okay, what else? So this is the only part I'm going to talk about the 2018 midterms and, and all that. So yeah, I'm actually glad. I'm honestly kind of glad Stacey Abrams lost. I, I know, I mean, I feel sorry for you, for all of you who live in Georgia that, you know, St Stacey Abrams, like, you know, her, her, um, her victory was basically, like, was brazenly stolen by Brian Kemp. But, I mean, I don't know. Like I said, I, oh, fuck. Yeah, was, actually, oh, well, at least I could save now. I mean, it's because, like, think about it, I mean, my state, I have Ron DeSantis, so, I mean, you're, you're kind of not alone, you know? Let me kill this guy, actually. Oh, shit. There we go. Eh, I want to end this as soon as possible, so I don't mind doing this. There we go. Just ends it, you know? Mmm. That was a missed opportunity. I just noticed that I could have refilled all that, the star points above. Fuck, I missed my chance. <laughs> I killed the only enemy that would actually help me replen <laughs> replenish. Uh, I apologize, guys, but... Mm, fuck. It'd be hugely embarrassing if I wasn't able to. Ah, actually, wait, no, 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 no. All else is not lost. I, I forgot that... I'm, I'm going, I'm gonna, obviously I'm gonna face Lord Crump, but it's gonna be just him for a little bit, so I can get some star points while like beating him until he uses those arms and that's when I need to use like uh something else. I'm probably not gonna use art attack actually or anything. I mean like I might but uh, it's like because the arms don't really have a lot of HP. I could just probably just use Bobbery's you know blast and stuff to, to finish everything. I'd probably use that actually. Seems like it would definitely work very well. So I just saved the, the special moves just for healing up and getting some FP using the special treat, that kind of thing. So yeah, I guess that's what I'll do. Oh wait. Oh shit. Uh. Oh wait, I forgot. I have to go use the plane thing in order to get it. Okay. 
Yeah, so what else? Uh, so yeah, largely corporate Democrats were the ones that lost their seats, and honestly, good riddance to them, because now that makes the American people know who the true enemies are, rather than having corporatists. Hard to believe some of these senators, well, I mean, uh, Joe Donnelly, he, he was elected in 2012, so I mean, but you know, they felt like they were there forever, especially, um, well, uh, especially Claire McCaskill, she was in the Senate since 2006, believe it or not, but she only uh, won a second term because her opponent was like a deeply flawed candidate when he said that, you know, it, it's said something along the lines of, you know, God intended rape because then, you know, a child would be born and, you know, would help. The, the community, but of course it sounds so disgusting because like really like rape and stuff, you know, that kind of thing. So he said, so that remark alone was enough to have Claire actually win her uh, her Senate seat again in 2012, despite Romney actually prevailing back in a 2012 election. So, yeah. But finally, then after another term, they got a better candidate, and like you know, she just lost all out. And, I, and honestly, I'm glad, especially the way she like treated Bernie Sanders during the primary. So, yeah, honestly, I only shed a tear for these people. They deserve to lose. And now it's going to be interesting in 2020 and see how things are going to turn out. They better nominate a progressive in 2020 because I will definitely vote third party again if that doesn't happen. I also hope that there won't be a whole too many progressives running because of course then that would definitely split the vote and stuff and that would definitely be problematic, that kind of thing. Because right now Richard Ojeda is in the race and that's actually fine, but what if it was Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, what if Tulsi Gabbard decides to step in and that's going to create huge problems. But uh, we'll see. Either way, I, I definitely vote for any of them if they have like the, the good policies and stuff. So yeah, we'll see. Alright, nothing much to talk about as of right now, so um, yeah, might as well go to the boss.